So, Jamie, what did you think was going to happen when you walked into last night's Tribal Council? Let's start there. Well, let's rewind it to right before Tribal Council. The votes were all going to go to Carolyn. I really thought that I had Jam Jam, Carson, Lauren, Heidi all going towards Carolyn because Jam Jam and Carson had described this game of Carolyn's as being this major threat and that's why we need to get her out. And Car Lauren and I didn't really see it like that because she played such a great, uh, oh, uh, she hid that very well from us. And so to us, she was never a threat. So I thought, oh, this is gonna be easy. If the guys wanna go along with her being the major threat, I'm gonna go with the flow. And I think I said that in the episode last night. And so right before we go to tribal, Carson came up to me and, which he never did this at any other tribal and said, okay, so we're, we're okay. We're still gonna go on Carolyn then, right? And to me, my intuition perked up and it's like, what? Uh, yeah, but because of the way he asked it, I knew something was up. And so going into tribal, my, I was really nervous. I'm like, okay, this is, it's going to be me, isn't it? Like that's, that's very unusual for him to ask me that in that way. So, so going into it, I thought that it um, would be Carolyn, but then with that last conversation with Carson, I started to second guess myself. And then at the end it was like, oh, they got me. <laughs> Well, you're not the first one to get got. Uh, I, I always like to play a little game of what if, Jamie. So, you know, Kane told me how close he was with you. Uh, Danny was giving you major props when we spoke last week. So obviously the, the natural question is, I'm sure you've run this in your head. How do you think you do if you make it to the final three against some of these other people that were left? Yeah, I think I did have a really deep social game with the jury members that were there. I know that... Kane was my ride or die from the beginning, um, but the jury members also didn't get to see a lot of um, Carolyn's um, work. And so it was almost like, okay, what what is she doing? You know, because we had just met her at the merge, so we had no idea what happened on Tika. And um, so I, I think that it, I would have had to do a lot of of talking, of big talking to uh, to get the the votes but Kane and I were always talking strategy and I was trying to build the resume to get it going by getting out a big player like Carolyn. So who did you want at this point where there's six of you left who are you thinking that you would ideally like to be with at the end what other two players? Obviously I my number one at the time was Lauren I think that it would have been amazing to be with her at the end I don't think I could have beat her um, but she was my ride or die Ideally, to win the game at the very end, I thought positioning myself to be there with Carolyn and Heidi, I would be able to to talk my way to the end. All right. Well, look, you know the question that we all want to know. When and how did you find out that your idol was not real? Was it at the after show when Probes hit you with the, with the 411? How did that go? Uh, like, I don't know. You're going to have to tune in to find out. <laughs> that means, yes, that means it was the after show. That means that's what he told you. So, all right, you're not going to say that, but you can tell us your reaction. What was your reaction when you when you heard that news? You know, that to me, that idol was real. Obviously, you instantly go back and start replaying every single conversation. Now, originally, when I found it, your intuition is heightened on the island. And I remember thinking wait, is this real? But then also running it, it was a split second of thought. Is this real? Does anybody on my tribe at this time have enough time to make a fake idol? No. And then it just slipped away. So it wasn't it wasn't a constant thought, but it, it did hit me. And then it was like, nope, I'm going with it. And here's why it's real. And so finding, finding out that it's fake, I'm immediately thinking, Oh my gosh, every single moment in the game where I thought I could leverage this idol in a way to make a move, it wouldn't have happened. And then with Kane walking out, it was a blessing in disguise having him walk out with this fake idol because then you don't have, you know, this moment of playing a fake idol. Although like that's kind of also iconic to play a fake idol. So, oh. you know, it's um it was it was wild it was it was wild finding out because 
every single one of us thought that this idol was real. Props to Matthew. It was a it was perfectly crafted idol and um the even the the paper was still clean because everything gets really dirty the paper was clean so there was just no real way of telling um with that idol what did you say to matthew when you got back after the season you're like dude why'd you do that to me why'd you tell me? listen plant daddy we've <laughs> got to have a conversation <laughs> but it was um it was a very fun conversation i love that I love that I was part of it. It's like, an, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of this idol that ended up haunting me all season. And and watching it back, it's like, oh my gosh, that's when it happened. And I love the cut of him saying it's perfect and me saying it's perfect. It was just, it was so, it was put together so well. And so he and I love talking about it. We love joking about it. And um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it, it, it was, the moment i love the idol the well, idol it's, it's it, it, i think why people reacted so strongly and well to you jamie is that it's very easy for a player to go on and be like yeah i found this thing i think like to hedge you know what i mean to hedge like their emotions and response and you were just like yeah i got it here we go and that was really refreshing in a weird way you just went with it it was awesome yes yeah, celebrating celebrating always what was it like having to watch yourself back though keep celebrating the idol like when you're watching it on tv now months later now you know it's not real what was it like having to keep watching that back? Yeah, watching it back. I mean, it's fun. Like I had a great time out there watching it back as the audience, you're all knowing. And so watching it happen, it it was exciting. It was fun to cheer. At the time that episode, I was with a big crowd. And so it was like, yeah, it's a real and then the moment later, oh no, it's fake. So we all had those big emotions together. And I loved being with all of my friends, family. And um, it, it was a fun, it, it's, it, it was fun to watch how um, that added so many layers to my game that now reversing it and knowing what I know, it, it's like, oh my gosh, would I have done that if I had I known? But no, obviously like I'm playing, like I think it's a real, idol the whole time when Kane left with that in his sock at that point you think it's real was that your lowest point in the game when you see him walking out with your idol and you're like no 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 no, wait 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 yeah like the slow motion no I was trying not to react at that tribal um yes it was a low moment but I remember though thinking to myself I've got to I've got to spin this in a way where I don't let this define the rest of my game I need to not let it because it's very easy for something to happen and then that kind of like brings you down for the rest of the game it's like you're really wanting to keep your mental energy up you've got to be you know aware and so I remember thinking like I'm not gonna let like this if this is the worst thing that happens it's a great day and I I, I, I it is like the worst thing that could happen thinking with the going off of it being a real idol I just had to find the bright side. Truly, I remember sitting there thinking, okay, I don't want to react. And then kind of the dilemma was, do am I going to tell everybody? Do I not tell everyone? Where am I going to go from here? But yes, it, it was a low moment, but I had to really dig deep and <laughs> um, figure out how to spin this in my favor. Uh, Jamie, whose idea was it to bring all the camp supplies to tribal council in, in anticipation of being sent to a new beach? Oh, that was all of us on the yeah. beach as super fans. We knew that that would be uh, part of the final five. And it was how much can we carry? And we're exhausted at this point. We haven't, oh my gosh, we haven't eaten. I remember thinking to myself, like, guys, let's just leave it like, oh. I'm starving. I'm tired. I can't carry anything. I remember being, I remember asking like, Jam Jam, Carolyn, can you guys carry this? Like, oh. and I, but I, I, I wanted to bring um the, the art set, the paint set was so important to me because, you know, um I think it showed a scene of me painting the flag, which I loved that moment. Um, But yeah, it was all of us. We, we wanted to be prepared and be able to kind of set up a new camp um, and so we anticipated that very early on in that day and started kind of brainstorming what we were going to bring to tribal because we knew, and that was made very clear, like, Hey, bring your bags with you, bring everything with you, um, to every tribal and to every challenge. 
Uh, we don't get those Ponderosa videos anymore, which is a whole uh, like tragedy and travesty in its own right. So tell us what it was like to, when you got to Ponderosa, your first night at Ponderosa and getting some food in you and getting to like download all the information to everyone. What was that like? Yes, it was amazing. I walked up to Ponderosa and I saw all of my friends. I had a cheeseburger, cheeseburger and french fries waiting for me, which was exciting. And then it was all, well, allow me to actually tell this story. As soon as I got there, Franny said, Jamie, we have to go look at yourself in the mirror. Let's go to the bathroom together. And I wish we would have had that on camera because I walked into the bathroom. I started screaming, laughing. I could not control myself. My reaction of seeing myself for the first time in 23 days, it was wild. Like the, I, 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 we laughed for at least five minutes straight. It was such a memorable moment for Franny and I. And then I went and enjoyed the cheeseburger. We talked game and uh, it, it's amazing. I really wish that there was the Ponderosa videos because it's like we get to really be ourselves and connect in a way as fans of the show, but also you're still playing the game. And it was amazing. I loved my my time there. Uh, Jamie, I always like to know about the stuff that we didn't see on the show because they obviously can only show us a very fr fraction of what actually happens on the island. There's so much that just they don't have time for. So what's something that happened out there that you wish we'd had a chance to see? Yeah, I wish that we, um, I wish they would have shown more of my relationship building, my strategy talk with really anybody. And uh, I think that would have put the puzzle pieces together for a lot of people, especially, you know, last episode, everyone's like, why did, why did Lauren and Jamie vote Heidi? Um, there was one special moment with Heidi and I also that I want to um, talk about where we had taken fish that we had caught. It was such a special bonding moment because I love her so much. And we made bone broth. So we had eaten the fish and then we had fish bones and then we put it in water, boiled it and had bone broth that we sipped for nutrients and it was just sp such a special like cooking in the kitchen moment and sipping our bone broth you know the cool island night it was it was so beautiful and I will always remember that um that special moment it was amazing would you go do it again if they invited you back yes oh <laughs> yes absolutely and I I I, I really like to yes I, I would go tomorrow yes it was amazing life changing experience and I feel so great I'm so grateful for it and and I would do it again in a heartbeat